because it's supposed to. Anyway, Floris going for Cloakybot Factory, while Lightman, on the other hand, is going also for Cloakybot Factory, which... Not terribly surprising. Okay, this map, here's the thing with this map. This map supports pretty much every factory, with the possible exception of Amphibious being super powerful in the water, because there isn't a whole lot of water to work with, but Amphibious is powerful enough on the land, as we saw in the Frozen Planet game earlier. Anyway, Lightman going for a quick start with Glaive. Glaive into Conjurer, so he's just going for scouting into Economy. Not surprising given the size of this map, while Floris is doing the same thing, pretty much. He's moving forward with a couple Glaives, though. Actually, no, one staying behind and one going forward. Lightman was a bit more aggressive, attacked a bit sooner, but Floris went for a stronger economy and is now about double the metal income. In fact, Lightman is pushing for power before metal. I'm very surprised at this. Why is he not going for an extra metal extractor or two? No, another solar collector. I don't understand this. Not sure what he's intending to do. He actually, okay, he has another metal extractor over in the small valley near his main base, but not in his main base, where it's a bit safer. However, he might be pr trying to preempt Floris' harassment, because Floris is going to harass the north side first, getting hit by the Lotus. In that respect, I can kind of see the rationale for this. And at the same time, we see Lightman coming in as Floris comes in to Lightman's base. Lightman comes in, hits Floris' commander, and will likely go down very quick. No, never mind. Nope, gonna go around the side, gonna hit, get hit by the defender, though. And Floris did lose his glaive to the Lotus. Did manage to spot what's going on, though, so he does at least know... Glogobot Factory being built up, and a few other things. Solar Collectors knows that the Metal Extractors are not being built there, that's for sure. And Floris gets rid of Lightman's Glaive, reclaims it very quickly, and continues to, continues to build up very many of his own Glaives. How many Glaives does he have? He currently has... Well, he has about half of the Glaives so far, so actually he's pretty evenly split. Lightman has about six, Floris has six, and Floris continues to expand over to the northeast. Well... North center, east center, up to the northeast. Well, Lightman has not yet taken his main base. He's is he trying to focus on overdrive. I think he's trying to get overdrive set up quickly, but he is getting a couple more metal extractors. I just find his construction placement a little bit surprising. I mean, even if he had built metal extractors up here, the Lotus would have done fine. There would have maybe been one blind spot. There's a blind spot behind the Clokybot factory, so there are still blind spots. Still, Lightman going in with. About four glaives attacking where Floris has already expanded and Floris does have three glaives of his own. Micro right, Floris should be able to win out and looks like Lightman does have his glaive split up such that Floris does have a pretty good chance. He could take out this glaive first and then take out the next pair here. Or no, he's going for the pair to the south first. That should be gone down pretty quickly. I'm not sure how Floris' micro is. We'll see though. Actually, Floris losing two glaives to the price of one. That was not what he wanted to do, I am sure. And ultimately losing... Oh no, taking out the Glaive, so kind of redeeming himself. Okay, he redeemed himself. He got three for three, ultimately. Made a bit of a micro mistake early on, but did manage to at least get even. So at this point, Floris does still have about half the Glaives in the field, I think. He is switching over to Warriors, though. Deciding to go skip the Raider phase pretty quickly and go for Warriors instead. Still has a Raider behind Lightman's base, but Lightman just going to deal with that, no problem. And... Double check in the southwest. And Floris' commander does not have any upgrades. In fact, it's taking a lot of damage to these glaives. We'll be able to take him up before dying, but if more glaives come in to reinforce, that will not end well for Floris' commander. However, Floris is able to get rid of a metal extractor at Lightman's front. Nice. Nice little micro there through the glaives, and it is going to hit some... Well, actually, it will be fine. Gets rid of one glaive. It'll have to be careful to get rid of the other one, though. It looks like it is... Not being directly controlled, and Flores coming in with some backup for that Glaive. Nicely done there. The backup of the Glaives that were here hanging out, just checking this expansion. Being sent in, and we'll be able to get rid of the Conjurer, and then get rid of the Lotus under construction. Or not even gonna... Oh, they did. They got rid of it already. But Warrior for Lightman will chase that off. Well, Flores does have his own Warrior set up. He actually has three or two Warriors set up. The third one is Lightman's. So this is going pretty well for Flores. He's ahead economically slightly, he's ahead militarily by quite a lot. And territory control, he has pretty much the east side of the map completely. Neither player really has the southwest. Floris has taken it first, but he doesn't have any defenses. He is now setting up a few glaives to deal with that. He has apparently seen that... Oh, wait, this is Floris' point of view. He hasn't seen the glaives come in, but he's guessing correctly that they are going to. And gets... well... gets wrecked, unfortunately. His glaives are being destroyed. His metal extractors are going to go down soon after, and... 
His Conjurer, not too worried about this. He might just want to stop the Conjurer, get it to cloak up, and then rebuild after the Glaives go away satisfied. Doesn't appear he's going to do that, though. He's going to... Well, he might. We'll see. The Conjurer is not building anything quite yet. Looks like... Yeah, it will, in fact, go off to the corner and hide. It is going to hide, right? Like, oh, no, it's... Okay, it's apparently cloaked. I guess they got rid of the cloak jiggling effect. Oh, that's right. That was modified in the recent version. As a, or no, this is cloak jiggle or cloak transparency, translucency. Not sure what's going on with this one, but yeah, this this one's cloaked. Hard to tell, but it is semi-transparent, so it is cloaked. Well, Floris tries to go for a bit of a harassment over to the northeast and gets hit by the warrior. Does not really do much damage. However. He is getting attacked from the southeast, and his commander is well set up now. Has light particle beam and able to get rid of all the glaives without issue. Well, almost all of them. The warrior takes care of the last one. And now he has control over the southwest completely. Very, well, fairly solid control. Lightman's probably going to attack through the center to try to deal with this. No, he's attacking the northeast instead, which Flores has not really taken. He has a warrior there just in case, and a glaive as well, just as a bit of an advance warning. And he does have more glaives coming in. It looks like Flores is using this as a bit of a distraction, sending some glaives over to the southwest at the same time as he attacks the northeast. But this warrior will f just tear them apart without issue. Down go the glaives, and the attack party over to the southwest, getting led on a bit by Flores' glaive, but not actually dealing any damage. Flores taking a small advantage of this distraction to send a warrior over through the southwest ridge. And this should work out pretty well, although this... Rocco, that one Rocco will be a problem. The Glaives won't be, but the one Rocco certainly will. And this warrior able to get rid of the two Glaives. Not able to get two of the Rocco in time, though. Needs to get out of there. Rocco's very nearly hard counter warrior, so no surprise he wants to get out. Losing... Oh, he's going to lose the Conjurer. I don't... I hope not for the Conjurer's sake, but it looks like that Conjurer will be fine. It will manage to escape. Builds up a Defender just in case. As does Floris' commander, so... Like I said, Southwest is getting more and more solidly controlled by Floris. The northeast, we do have a glaive over to the northeast by Lightman, but warrior coming in from Flores will be able to get that out of the way, and Flores will be able to take the northeast without issue once that happens. And at the same time, Lightman having to retreat away from the southwest, trying to attack with the Rockos, might be regrouping actually. I think he is regrouping all those Rockos and glaives, and then going to assault the southwest as hard as he possibly can. While well, at the same time, Flores going through the south, or sorry, through the north, the northwest with a bunch of glaives, half a dozen glaives coming into the north take out light man's forces and possibly flank these forces from behind he does have a pretty good position here forcing these rockos up against a cliff and Flores' commander are going to try to finish them off but does not have the range to actually hit them yet 330 range compared to 460 no there's no easy way Flores is going to be able to get in there his commander has no way of getting to those rockos a bunch of glaives would be favorite right now but it looks like that's actually going to happen Flores is going to build some glaives he's not really changed his build order much, but has, however, been spotted. Did lose his glaives. Get, got rid of a melee tractor to the north, and at the same time, we do have this attack coming to the southwest. Lightman's commander joining as well. Light particle beam recon com. And down goes a warrior. Another warrior about to go down as well for Floris. Not really paying attention to those. Floris, his commander going back to these defenders, but even then, it doesn't matter. The Rockos are dealing a lot of damage. Glaives not being built up quite in time. Another caretaker being built up for Flores just so he can push out units faster. He needs those glaives. The glaives are his only way out of this. If he can kill the Rockos with the glaives, or at least push them away with the glaives, but he'll definitely have a better life. Oh, better time if he kills them. Still, so at least pushing them away, buying some time, even getting them into range of some of the warriors for ambushes. Those warriors are not going to survive long, though. That warrior needs to retreat. And it looks like northeast, we do have warrior against glaive for Floris winning. While Floris is setting up a warrior with some conjurers trying to take the northeast. Both Floris and Lightman trying to take the northeast at the same time. And this is not going to go well. In fact, Floris is going to help out Lightman building his metal extractor. Bit of an accident there. We've seen this happen before, but yeah. Floris and Lightman's metal extractors. Sorry, Floris and Lightman's conjurers working together before Lightman, in a show of ingratitude, slaughters Floris' conjurer and continues to destroy the metal extractors along the northeast. So Lightman has a decent grasp of the northeast, but probably going to lose it fairly quickly. Flores cutting that off. And the southwest is still pretty solidly Flores's. 
Flora's getting a gunshot switch as well, getting a brawler. Well, Lightman has not gone for a factory switch. No factory switch for Lightman, but there is one for Floris. And it looks like Floris is going to be taking some hits over to the northeast, but even with that, doesn't much matter. Stardust coming up for Lightman. This is... What? Well, okay. That's an odd turret to build in general. But not a terrible idea. It will, it will stop a lot of getting, stuff getting through. Anyway, first brawler is done. Second brawler getting constructed. Just about done as well. A few seconds away from that, and there it goes. The second brawler has now been completed. Floris is going to have to deal with quite a large army here from Lightman. Coming in with a lot of Rockos and not really a whole lot on Floris' side. A lot of his money was invested into Brawlers, which he's sending over to the Northeast to take out the Northeast side, rather than trying to secure the Southwest. Either he's confident he's got the Southwest, or he's just abandoning it for raiding instead. The Warriors, wherever they sent for raiding, are being countered heavily by these Rockos. I'm surprised he hasn't built more Glaives. He is building quite a few Glaives over to the Southwest, and these Glaives are going to take care of the Rockos fairly easily, but the Rockos, at the same time, moving towards the Southwest, Lightman's Commander in place to just tear apart all these... All these metal extractors and the conjurers and the defenses. The southwest is out of Flores' control. He is trying to counter raid, going to the center. Gonna track out the Lotus. He will be able to take out the metal extractor. Will he take out the Lotus? Yes, he will. Takes out the Lotus. And at the same time, the brawlers are destroying the northeast side. Got rid of the Stardust, no problem. And getting rid of everything else here as well. Although, unfortunately, this brawler about to go down. One more hit will take it down from these Rockos. And a couple more Rockos coming up. It is able to strafe out of the way. It does dodge them. However, ooh, runs into that rocket. That was not what he wanted to do. And that being said, the Northeast has been released from Lightman's control. Floris will take that back. But Lightman actually losing the whole north side to Glaives. So Floris has gone and built enough Glaives to deal with this. And another brawler in the southwest side of the map trying to take care of these rockets, but having a bit of a harder time than the two brawlers to the northeast. Still, this is... A decent amount of damage here. Not a whole lot of anti here. Not yet, anyway. Gremlins are coming in, though. Ten, well, ten more gremlins. Lightman already has about half a dozen gremlins so far. So these brawlers are going to have a bit of a hard time getting through, but at least they secured the southwest. Or at least they broke some of the control of the southwest that Lightman was taking. Still, at this point, the southwest is pretty evenly split, which is not a situation that will last for a long time. Continuing to build up more and more warriors, a few more Rockos, not a whole lot of Glaives. So these Rockos are not working out too well. However, Brawler coming around the back, that will work out pretty well. There is a warrior here that will spot it. The Gremlins, however, are out of position. All of them are out of position. They're all going towards the southwest instead. They will take care of this Brawler, which is unfortunate for the Brawler. But the Brawler over to the northwest is going to take care of... All these solar collectors take care of this metal extractor. Needs to get rid of the caretakers. That's the main target. Get those caretakers. That's what he needs to do. At least he's forcing them to repair rather than construct. So slowing down Lightman's, econ Lightman's con production. Getting rid of the caretakers. And now tearing apart Lightman's economy decently well. Getting rid of one metal extractor. Needs to get rid of the rest of them. But unfortunately, one of the gremlins has... Or two of the gremlins are in place. And that brawler is going to go down. There it goes. Down it goes. Got rid of the caretakers though. And the caretakers going down is huge. That gives Flores a massive production advantage. He already has an army advantage for cost, but now he is going to be able to actually make the economy advantage work and force Lightman to float a bit. Lightman building up another caretaker, trying to rebuild those. But at this point, Flores, look at the army he has coming in from his base. Just streaming out an army from his base. At this point, Flores has very has almost twice the army value of Lightman. He is going to be attacking very strongly, and I think this will be game. I think this is going to be the last attack. A nice flank coming in from Floris, though Lightman retreating where it won't matter. But I don't even know if that'll matter at this point. If Glaze were in support, that would help, but still, the Rockos and Warriors will at least... The Rockos will be able to distract the, the enemy Rockos long enough for the Warriors to get in range. And the Warriors have gone in range! The Rockos are going down, Lightman losing all of his forces. Floris just surrounding Lightman's forces, tearing apart with the Warriors. The Rockos not being able to take advantage of their range. And if these Gremlins can go down, the Brawlers will be able to do anything, but unfortunately a brawler gets wasted for very little. However, Flora is still at double the army value. Lightman just now getting, you know, 40 seconds away from getting a caretaker up. He is pushing the factory as best he can, but honestly, he's splitting metal between the two. He's splitting six metal to each. 
Floris just needs to push and, well, get a bit more army and then push and win. He is getting a lot of metal extractors over to the northeast as well. Has fully secured the southwest thanks to that big push. The northeast just thanks to the brawlers earlier on and Lightman not actually focusing on that. Lightman's going for one last attack. Gonna try to break Floris' control over the southwest, but I doubt that'll work out too well. In fact, all Lightman really has for army value are the gremlins. 150, gremlin 150 metal each. Yeah, 2100 cost total. Half of Lightman's army value is in gremlins. And on the other hand, I don't think Floris has any air units left anymore. Nope, I don't see him. There are no air units left for Floris. So yeah, at this point, Floris is well ahead in terms of army value. It's, it looks like nearly twice, it's about three or four times. These gremlins about to be spotted. No, never mind, that's Lightman's Force, that's what I'm saying. Gremlins not about to be spotted. Oh, never mind, there is one brawler, 760 metal, so... Not even in position. I mean, the brawler just moving back, getting on the cliff just to wait. Just to wait for an opportune moment to attack. Probably coming for support as a flank. As forces come in from Floris from the north, forces are ready to come in from the southwest. But the forces from the north, the first ones to come in, and they will take care of... Actually, Lightman's forces got spread out, put into a line. He's attacking heavily in the north. Well, a flank coming in from the southwest to take care of some warriors that Lightman had set up in the back. Lightman getting heavily flanked, and Floris should be able to finish it from here. Not even sure how long Lightman is going to last on this one, but he is pretty much finished. And there goes the brawler, and that's it. Floris throws in the towel, realizing he's getting flanked from all sides, has no map control, and that is game. GG is after the game over, but that's it. So we have, I think, we have one more game. So one last game is going to be between Lightman and Rymark. It's going to be on intersection. Be up in just a moment, so stay tuned for that. See Lightman once again. Beaver redeems himself.